As a believer, I am not concerned with putting yet another teacher, nurse, or executive in the world. I am concerned with making a disciple and training a homemaker. Since she professes to be a believer, she has to be taught to pursue the things the Lord has set up in His Word. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jacqueline, the Unimportant Homemaker, and today let's talk about motherhood. When it comes to our children, how come we as believers never say things like, I want to raise a submissive child, one who will follow the Lord's commands without reservation? Must our goals for our children always be the same as the world? I personally want to see in my daughter obedience to scripture, holy fear of the Lord, shame-faced modesty in this shameless society we live in, holding fast to the word. I want to hear of her walking in truth. So before I elevate academics, I elevate the word of God. Before I teach her how to be fashionable, I model modesty. We don't discuss entertainers, but we talk about Dorcas and her important work and why the Apostle Paul was always rejoicing even while imprisoned. She sees how God led his people, stressing his sovereignty to command them. And then we look at our own lives at the order set up before us in the roles of marriage and motherhood. Conversations revolve around the Lord and His goodness towards us who believe. We set goals of increasing our devotions, our prayers to, and our worship of the Father. This is the base of our homeschool. We start here because we want to be fruitful handmaidens of the Father. So why do you homeschool or why do you want to homeschool? Are you concerned about the increasing evil in the public school system? Are you interested in having high achieving children? Is your child an artist or other creative and you want to give them plenty of time to pursue their passions? Maybe your child is a hands-on learner who loves tinkering with tools and would benefit from a trade style education. Truth is, you can homeschool for any reason or no reason at all. The beauty of it is that homeschool is just one of several choices you are allowed to make as a parent. Public school is a choice. Private school is a choice. Homeschool is a choice. I've homeschooled for 10 years. I think that this is the best type of lifestyle for children. My husband had family members who are homeschooled and I found those kids to be the most mature and diverse individuals I had ever met. This intrigued me, so we decided to try it for kindergarten before our daughter became of compulsory age in our state. She attended a four-year-old pre-K class in the public school system and has never returned. We call ourselves unschoolers, meaning Kaylee's education is tailor-made for her interest. Biblical literacy and understanding the unsearchable riches in Christ as she lives a life of obedience, submission, and thankfulness is foremost. But we also have other things that are important too. So for example, this year for her ninth grade, she asked if we could do a home economy program so she can become a better cook. So that's what we're doing now. The care and keeping of the home has many facets, and I want to be sure we hit most areas. Some of the things that we're learning are, I'm teaching her to mince garlic, how to sharpen knives, how to fix our vacuum cleaner. I'm encouraging her as she spends time with her four-year-old cousin in a way that encourages him. We identify different cuts of meat at the grocery store. We grind our own spices. We air out the home on breezy days. She's learning to use the ATM to deposit cash. She fixes special desserts for her father. And we talk a lot 
about why it's important to set our hearts and our intentions before we serve the family. She taught herself how to crochet and paint with watercolors. When we are all sitting in the living room talking, she just breaks out her crochet like a sweet old lady. It's so adorable. We will never go back to the traditional homeschool plan. My daughter is a creative. She has to be free to flow and learn her own way. I am no longer terrified that she won't match other children her age since conformity to the world's standards is not something I desire for her anyway. This lifestyle is not for everyone. In a world where conformity is most valued, it can be challenging to go against the grain. The lack of an accredited body may lead some to question the effectiveness of this lifestyle. Social media platforms may not provide the validation and recognition you seek for your child's achievements. Facebook friends won't understand, and they certainly won't clap for your child's successes. You might even be confronted by well-meaning family members who love your child and can't understand that you do too, and that's the reason why you chose to homeschool. However, as a united family, we have chosen to embrace our freedom and prioritize our own values over society's expectations. We have decided that we are not interested in being approved by any of the world's systems. It is a decision that allows us to live the life we truly desire. So what type of homeschool are you doing and why? I'd love to hear all about it in the comments section below. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time here at the homestead. Bye.